previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. The better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Thing to fortify these tunnels into town. <laughs> Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was, well, she was a little much, but having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess she still scared me though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo, and she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others, to our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be, but I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boop! the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Exactly. I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But... You said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's going to pay for. So glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Ha! 
hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. <laughs> Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. Hey, Binta, adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been in. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. You will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Okay, Luna? Yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor llama. Yeah. Is this...? Hey, Jack! By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these...? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Sight again, Derm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor. Founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. Right? I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are. They call me. <laughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes. Hi. Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. You fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. Story about me killing you? Big hit. You really know your audience. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult, and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute <laughs> Which I'm sure no one will notice. I hey, can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? Uh, <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. 
Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes. I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes. Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Look, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. Never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? Piece of cake. That might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this.
find Stella. An ocelot, what is that for? Searched everywhere for you. Uh, stop there. Uh, I present to you the newest Jesse Con volunteers. They await your orders. Not the brightest quartet in the bunch, but uh, well, they're golems, so just give them an order and they'll do whatever you need. You know what? Let them take the day off. Go slime diving or something. Uh, uh yes, yes. Your leader is giving you a request. I want to see dive so beautiful the people will weep! for even a moment and pandemonium ensues stop doing that and get back to your posts oh don't look at me like that you know what you did <sighs> okay so he just pops in whenever he wants to i better find stella fast before the admin finds me Why did you destroy his home? What did Champion City do to you? Destroying homes left and right? Absolutely no regard for people's lives? It wasn't me. It was someone disguised as me. Psh, sure, deny any accountability. You really have changed. Oh, I need this to end once and for all. I did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. I promise. <gasps> They're not cooked the way you like, are they? I'm so sorry. I'll do better next time. Please don't send me away. Romeo didn't touch this, at least. <gasps> Yo! Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, oh, yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go with your gut, totally. <laughs> I 
just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yup, Coolio, just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yup. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. And banners. It's not my fault. I, I burned their stuff. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen. Or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse, back so soon! <laughs> <laughs Since when do you. Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? 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 Come on, of course I'm the admin. I'm absolutely, completely, totally the admin. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. We couldn't risk the admin finding out I was back. The fewer people who knew, the better. I understand. Whatever it takes to thwart that maniac. Man, I can't believe I almost worked for him. Gives me the willies. Ugh. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left! is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there. Right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused. Killing Fred. Inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly. Seeing that smile 
It'd be useless. There aren't any weapons that can even touch him right now. Our only hope is getting that word of passage up to the tower. <sighs> You're right. Attacking him now would only doom us all. And as Jesse, your Jesse, I'm glad we Let's go to work. Come together to celebrate me. Of course it was mandatory, but I sense that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you. Understanding how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except fireworks, you mean, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then... All we need is gunpowder, and a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? I think this one does like an awesome magenta burst. Very rad. <clears throat> Ivor? Shh. I'm in stealth mode. Completely undetectable to the human eye. How? Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And um, apparently long lasting. Thanks for the back watching. Of course. It's what I do. High five. Right, you can't see it. Why do I keep forgetting that? Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadow. This book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. Ooh, sugar cane. Doof. Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Tongue back. I can feel it. All of Beacon Town has improved from the moment I ascended as your leader. The sky is brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. This isn't stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect.
Okay, let's get crafting. can't hurt the admin yet, but we can still take out his goons. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves, and we can't let anyone get in our way. Maybe not quite so hard next time. Yes, right. Sorry. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Okay, all strapped in, fireworks ready. Oh, no! Uh, Jesse! Uh, hey, Jesse! Yeah! Jesse, we want to talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. need to Oh perfect just what I needed Ha ah, too slow dummy Come at me ugly Uh-oh Oh that was close Okay time to get the others See that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Don't be fooled, guys. If it's this quiet on our way to depower the admin, then it's gotta be a trap. 
Well, I'm not seeing anything trappish yet, but I'll keep an eye out. What's going on? Stand down, Ocelots. Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops. S sorry. Guys, Lucas, I think you're confused. It's me! Oh, we're not confused. We know exactly who you are. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Telling us our builds were ugly. Wow, I am so glad you guys are all free. I didn't do any of this. What are you talking about? You were laughing, gloating as you teleported people away. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... no. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... That wasn't really you. Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we going to do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> Well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Ender Defender, I choose you. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Ocelots, charge! <laughs> Excuse me? No, 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 no.
are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. It's called a hustle, admin. And you fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. What better way to sneak back into Beacon Town right under your... Uh, my nose. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat! Dueling! Build-offs! Not, ugh, discourse and debate. Sounds like that's the perfect thing for us to be doing then. Loser. Did you... Really? Seriously? I'm having a hard day too, you know! <sighs> well, you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst! Oh, yes! Yes, I said it! I hate being you! Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy! I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want! Ah, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for, anyway? Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> it's what it's terribly disappointing, is what it is. It's just... <sighs> but it was fun at first. I'd show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. You know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. <sighs> well... This has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Romeo, please give this world another chance. One more chance. Could. Would love to. But won't. Shan't. This way is easier for me. Oh, well. Toodles. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. Stop this. We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go. Come on. We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Be safe. 
safe. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh. I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato 451! It was, uh, it was a good thought, but, uh... Password protocol initiated. It's him! Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Nobody... to begin a new program. I... That was... all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. Huh, what is this thing? And what does it have to do with potato 451? It's... empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring... Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? 
Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done! No take that! Chassis, hurry! Sea Temple? Kalu Kalei, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you. Huh. Running out of platform, Jesse. <laughs> Nowhere to run. Uh.
Then give it up. Oh, I am going to... Uh, you don't... Don't touch me! Touch me! Oh, hi, Jesse. Petra? <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? Our friendship's gotten a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little... Worn thing? I wonder who did that? I'm not listening to you, admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. Romeo, it's time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me that! That gauntlet! That's the cause of all this! Uh, let go! make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you. And you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just... I just wanted people to... People to... is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. 
Stay tuned. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You can still fix things, Romeo. No matter what you've done, you're still a person. Like everyone else, you can be redeemed. Redeemed? You... You really believe that, don't you? Jesse, now's the time. You gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Come on, this place is falling apart. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. If the lava gets to that portal before we do, we'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move. Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's not to following me, right? Right? Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm going to try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... Or what I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara, well, it's something at least. And, and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. It'll probably be a shock at first, but I think she'd like to try and reconcile too. Yeah, I hope so. She's 
Sort of the only friend I have left now. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he... Don't worry. He's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Oh, he's free, but he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. Like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor, but I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are. Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. So, no more Ninja Ivor, then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is, but I've got some leads. Oh, man, that's awesome. They're going to be so excited. You think so? That's certainly the way I'm hoping it will happen. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay. Well, the stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that... 
That makes me want to try to be better at being my best. I guess our rivalry is over. Finally put it to an end. Actually, I ended our rivalry. I can end a rivalry way better than you. I'm not proud of it, Jesse, but I was a little tiny bit weirdly obsessed with you. Oh, are we talking about Stella being a weirdo stalker now? Ha, huh, hey, I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh, cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, you know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I ah! come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Jeez, it'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? huh. I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. You could start a new town, find temples or dungeons or whatever you hack and slash types do. Everyone's got to find their happy place. For Petra, it's mostly an unexplored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Ah, no air! Actually dying! Ah. <sighs> you don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Even if it is, no matter what, will always be best friends. And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. What do you think, pal? You! Me? Really? Yeah, I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm gonna miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around.
Come on, Luna. Hoping you'd be interested in a race. Ha! You're on! <laughs> 